It's G from Made in Murray. Uh, I've had a great conversation today with David Robertson, a uh, local businessman, and so much more. Um, at the end here, what we're going to do is flip the script. Um, what this means is that I give David a chance to ask me one question. Any question that you like, but the first question that comes into your mind. Go for it. He's, he's thinking about it. <laughs> thinking about it very, very carefully. When you interview the amount of people that you want to interview, mm. what is your ultimate goal with this? Other than stimulating good conversation, good discussion, that's a, totally a given, and it has been. And the guys you're interviewing are for all different walks of life, and ladies you interview are all different walks of life. So it's very, very interesting. What is the over, what are you hoping to get out of When you finish this and you look at the project, what would you like to see? Well, well that's a great question because that's asking me, you know, what is, what is the end point? And it's a great question because how do you know when something is finished, right? If, if when you start, you don't know what the end point is, then you're kind of, kind of a bit lost because you don't know which direction you're going in. So when I started the project, what I said to myself was, it's a year, it's 52 weeks, 52 weeks, I can probably do one interview every week. So I'm going to try and hit 52 uh, interviews over the year if I can find 52 people who will be generous enough with their time. And at the end, it's going to be, first of all, review, look back. One of the things that's in the back of my mind is, might make a nice little book. Might, might, might make a nice little booklet, sort of a, a made in Murray. Look at uh, uh, this point in time where we've got um, like 50 plus minus different little local businesses. In each interview, these, this information comes out. It's motivational, inspirational. You know, why not take it, paraphrase it, you know, cut it down to a paragraph, make it the page of a book. And, uh, you know, put out something you know, phys physical that's motivational and inspirational for people so that this information doesn't get, get lost, it gets taken and moved somewhere. So that's something that's in the back of my mind of what I, where, where I could take the information at the end of the year. But there's also the point of, will, it, will, it, will, it, will I actually you know, reach my target? Will I not? If I don't reach the target, am I, am I going to continue? Do I want to continue with it? Because nothing lasts forever. Everything's got its you know, every, everything's got its lifetime, its lifespan. And, you know, you don't want to be I don't know, <laughs> milking the cow when there's no more milk left, right? <laughs> so um, so I, I definitely want to review it at the end of the year, see if it's possible for, for it to continue, see if I've hit all my targets, see if I can transform it into something else. And I'd... Um, I'd also like to keep my connections with all of the fantastic people that I've met through the project, maybe bring some of them together. Another idea that I had originally was it would be so great to have little local round tables that were sort of done in a podcast style where you get three or four local businessmen sitting, talking about their experience and their work in a way in which that information can get out to other people and be motivational and inspirational for them. Because a lot of a lot of great things are happening behind closed doors. The people don't see everything that's going on. And transparency, from my perspective, is key in business. It's key in building trust. It's, it's key in going forward. That's why I love um, social media and the, the, the technological innovations that we have, because we can share more of what we're doing and getting it out to people. So hopefully, I guess I'm looking for creating a system of transparency that allows people to show all of the great ideas they have, all of the good things that are happening. And um, when you are creative and constructive, you've got lots of, lo lots of directions you could go in, right? There's lots of things you could do that could be successful, but you could, the person can only lead one kind of life, but why not share those ideas with other people? Somebody, some other person can pick them up and run with them and, you know, win-win for everybody. So that's what I want at the end. I want to create um, digital media that allows people to win-win. 